Today's show is powered by CraftNode. For all your Minecraft server needs, check out craftnode.net. Hello and welcome. I'm Clint Antine, and today we'll be figuring out how to install a bucket server. Um, let me clarify this as we begin. Um, bucket is actually a server API, which you don't have to understand or need to understand, but when you talk to people about Bucket and you say that you run Bucket, you, you don't say Bucket, you say you run Craft Bucket because you don't actually download Bucket, you download the server itself. Uh, you don't have to understand that or anything, just know that it's Craft Bucket for the server. Uh, first off, let's just go to the Bucket website. Uh, you can probably Google search it. Yeah, it's right there. Uh, or bucket.org if you don't find it. Um, and then you want to hit documentation. And this will really get you started. Uh, we're just going to start jump right in though. And uh, I'm going to do this on Windows right now. And then I'll have a tutorial later for uh, Linux and not Mac because I don't have a Mac. Uh, so we're just going to download the recommended build and save it. And I'm going to drag this over here. I'm make a new folder on my desktop called Minecraft Server of Serversness. Serversness. Yeah. Uh, so there we go. And we'll double click that. And uh, I don't know how your browser works or anything, but you should be able to just click and drag that over. Uh, and that should work just fine. If not, look in your downloads folder or. Uh, start my documents downloads and it'll be there uh, and now we want to put the jar in okay we did that all right we need a notepad uh, actually I would do it like this I'd go start and then I would go notepad oh, let me bring it over here and then I copy this And double check. All right, let's check 32-bit mode. Let's check and make sure our path is correct for Java. Um, basically, we just want to make sure this is going this right here is going to the right place, and we can do this by going to our C drive, uh, program files, Java, and then JRE. And we're just following along here as we go. Bin and then Java .exe. Okay, it's there, and that will work. So let's close out of this and go back here and check this one more time. Everything looks good. Uh, let's hit File and then Save As. Make sure you do Save As. Click All Files here and do Run .bat. But make sure you save it. Since I did this on my desktop, it'll be there. It'll be in the folder uh, called. Minecraft server serverness and just save it there and you should be all good uh, and now pretty much all we have to do is just start the server just double click the file and load everything up I'll be able to go actually in game because my computer would light itself on fire uh, but you could see it's generating the map and everything uh, and the files that we need are here. I'm also going to go over how to set up yourself as an op and uh, yeah. So once you're here and everything's loaded and it says done, you want to hit op, or type in op and then the username of the person you want to op. So you could do op or uh, the possibilities are endless. No, but uh, we also have this uh, server.properties file here. Uh, select a program from the list of installed programs. Uh, and then we want to find Notepad. I'll put it with that. Uh, and we could change any of these. We could make it uh, the Nether. That's kind of broken right now uh, because of the Mojang theme, not Bucket. Uh, we can change online mode so you can play, you know, just by yourself or with the people. Um, spawn animals that'll help if you don't want animals at all, or uh, your server is so large that there's a large amount of lag because there's so many animals. Uh, 
Max players, it's up to what you want. It's just a number. Uh, server IP, you do not need to set this unless you have more than one IP. Unless your service provider uh, specifically told you that you need or that you have more than one IP, you do not need to set this. Uh, PvP is player versus player. This will tell if you're able to attack someone else or not. Uh, level seed is the same like the client. Uh, it's injected into the map and it affects how the map is generated. Uh, the server port is the port they connect on. If you're able to forward ports and everything, uh, they do 25565. Two, two, five, all they have to enter when they connect is your IP. They don't have to enter anything else. They don't have to worry about your port or anything, just your IP. Uh, allow flight. I would turn this to true. I really would. Uh, even if you don't want your members to fly, there's several glitches right now that just kicks the user for no reason. Uh, and that's not happy days. Uh, whitelist. If you said to true, here's your whitelist file right here. And you can just insert names like. Well, you don't want to do that again. But like that, and then save. I just hit control S, by the way. Uh, and then it'll work. But you need to uh, reload the server for that to take effect. Or it might even restart, I'm not for sure. Uh, and spawn protection is when you go in game and you're not an op, what area around spawn can they not modify? Uh, yeah, so that's basically how to set up a, a, a Minecraft server. Uh, once you're done editing the configuring, reload. Uh, and yeah, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.